Hello everyone, I'm Mazen El Najib, I'm the PR and Communications Manager for Lenovo Middle East and Africa. I'm sure you've all heard about Lenovo's net zero emissions goal by 2050. While that is a very long time away, we are currently in the process of having these goals validated by the SBTI framework. And today, we're very lucky to have our product expert and circular economy expert, Kim Fox, to discuss how Lenovo is making its products more sustainable and more energy efficient to help our consumers and our customers to realize their goals as well in becoming net zero emissions. Hi Kim, could you please explain to me how the Novo is working to make our products more efficient and sustainable? Hi Mazen, thanks for having me. So energy is consumed and emissions are produced while extracting and transporting the raw materials and also during the manufacturing process. When our products are used over their lifetime, they're also using energy. So we're innovating to make products that consume less energy during the manufacturing process as well as during their use. That's very interesting because to me, when you talk to me about energy usage in a device, I only think about the energy that it's using at home. I don't think about the energy that goes into making the device or shipping the device or the products, the sustainable materials that go into it. But what are some of the goals that Lenovo has in place to decrease the energy usage in our devices? You're right, Mazen. People are very concerned about the energy use of their products when they get them home. So Lenovo has set goals to improve the energy efficiency of our products by 2030, with a 50% improvement in desktops and servers, and a 30% energy efficiency improvement in laptops and phones. And what if we go back to the inception of those products before they're actually put together? What kind of sustainable materials is Lenovo using to put these products together? And how are we making sure that we are using recycled materials as well from the start? The use of sustainable materials is very important to the circular economy, as well as Lenovo's net zero journey. We've been integrating recycled content materials into our products for years. Our PC division has a goal to integrate recycled content into 100% of our products by 2025. Across the product portfolio, we're integrating sustainable materials in our packaging, like sugarcane and bamboo, and we're eliminating plastic, starting with our phone and notebook packaging. Beyond our material choices, we're supporting customers with other solutions, like repair solutions, and we're offering second life server products to our customers. It's, it's great to hear these, and it's great to see that this is across all of our portfolio products, as well as all of our business units as well. But what do these innovations really mean to our customers and consumers? Lenovo is focused on meeting our own sustainability goals and commitments. But as a global technology leader, our sustainable innovations contribute to our customer success as well. For example, product energy efficiency helps our customers meet their emissions reduction goals. And we're offering sustainability services like asset recovery services which helps our commercial customers responsibly dispose of their assets at the end of life and returns the maximum value back to the customer. That sounds awesome. So not only are we being internally sustainable, but we're also helping our customers and consumers reach their sustainability targets as well, which sounds like a win-win situation for me. How does sustainable product design and innovation help Lenovo on its path to net zero? As we discussed, Mazen, more sustainable products consume less energy, leading to fewer emissions. We're innovating to create sustainable materials and use recycled content, which will help us use less new resources. We're reusing materials, which creates efficiency, and we're designing our products to be lighter as well as our packaging, which will mean less energy and emissions when we're shipping our products. Thank you, Kim. And it's been amazing just to hear the stories about what Lenovo is doing in terms of reaching its uh, net zero goals and what it's already doing uh, internally to help its customers and clients uh, all together. Thank you all for watching. And if you want to know more about our Lenovo ESG updates, check out our Lenovo Story Hub.